I wanted to start a career as an XR designer, but I didn't know where to begin. Here's what I found and learned, and I'll share all of it with you. Number one, determine your focus. Do you want to concentrate more on coding and systematic engineering, or do you prefer designing and modeling the general XR world? These questions can also be phrased as, do you want to code or design? From my experience in a bootcamp, I learned that while it's very beneficial for designers to know some coding knowledge to some extent, you actually don't need that much of coding knowledge. Since you'll be working with developers as a team and you can rely on your developer peers for the complex coding part, it really is not that big of a deal if that's what you're apprehensive about. Number two, once you have determined the area you want to focus on, then it's time to choose your learning methods. You can either look for a bootcamp and pay for it or opt for a self-teaching approach. The decision is entirely up to you. Personally, I paid for a bootcamp because I wanted more discipline approach. And most importantly, I really wanted to be a part of the community. Although I could have self-taught myself using YouTube or some free resources, I knew there wouldn't be as many resources available as I would have liked, given that the industry is still pretty new. Considering this investment for my career, I really didn't hesitate choosing a bootcamp option. Also, access to a community was very, very important for me as interacting with other people who had more experience provided very valuable perspectives. Number three, if you're considering paying for a bootcamp, now it's your time to do your own research. I recently graduated from Circus Stream and my experience there was very positive. I can create a separate video discussing my thoughts on bootcamp and how to maximize your learning experience. However, I must emphasize that this is not a cheap investment. You're talking about four to five thousand dollars, and that's a commitment. If you're committed and willing to drop four to five thousand dollars, you really need to be serious about it and do your research. During my research, I came across Circus Stream, NYU Professional Certificate, and MIT XPro. After comparing their syllabuses and contacting admissions, I ultimately chose Circus Stream. For your own reference, you can read reviews from graduates from this website. Personally, I found that the Circus Stream team was the most helpful and attentive when I reached out to them compared to NYU course. But this is also a very personal experience of mine, so I really encourage you to do your own research and find the program that best suits your needs. Number four, gather your resources. When I first started out, I found it helpful to watch YouTubers like Kim Alban, Daniel Marchese, and Invenzia. They share super helpful tips for VR and AR, which are valuable since there aren't many resources available compared to more established industries. I also recommend the book Designing Immersive 3D Experiences by Renee Stevens, which I discovered at the Seagraph event back in August. It offers very interesting insights and has been very helpful for me. And hey, you can also watch my videos too. Number five, research tools and familiarize yourself with them. When I was learning in my bootcamp, I heavily relied on Unity for my courses. Besides Unity, I also used Spark AR, Adobe Aero, uh, Shapes XR, and Figma. Spark AR is a software developed by Meta that makes creating augmented reality easier. Similarly, there's Adobe Aero, which is also for AR projects, but it requires Adobe membership. So that could be a downside for those who don't have Adobe membership. Also, it should be installed on both parties for them to share projects to each other. Shapes XR is a tool by MetaQuest for building VR models. Figma is a UI UX design tool. For my latest project, I use Figma to create a polished design look and imported it into Unity to build a VR prototype. Designing directly in Unity could be such a pain, and most importantly, they're really ugly. So I know many XR designers use these methods, designing in Figma and import it into Unity. 
Number six, research on VR hardware and familiarize yourself with it. I'm not a big gamer, so I haven't really tried many VR games yet, but I did buy a headset and spent some time getting comfortable with it before my course started. During my course, I learned about some concepts that I didn't really understand before, such as how teleportation in VR games work. I didn't make the connections in my brain that moving the joystick allows you to teleport in the VR game world initially. So when I finally learned about this teleportation stuff in bootcamp, I was like, whoa, <laughs> now everything makes sense. Because before I would have no idea how to move around in the VR world because I'm physically sitting down, you know? So that was a really big thing for me. So I recommend experimenting with it and gaining a good understanding of how things work and the basic rules before diving into VR designing. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know in the comments which topic you would like me to cover in my future videos. And I really hope you find this helpful. If you have any question or feel stuck, don't hesitate to leave comments or shoot me a DM. I'll try my best to answer them because I really do understand the challenges of starting out in XR. Then I'll see you in my next video. Thank you! Thank you.